Grazie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Congrats, Daniel. Where does this win rank among your many successes in your well, career? In a way, number one, just because it's the first one on clay and it's unbelievable and I would never have thought I would be able to make this. Then, have to be honest, Grand Slam is always bigger. So, uh, yeah, uh, US Open is always number one there. But uh, this one is special because I didn't think it's going to be able to, 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 to happen. I'm going to be able to make it. So, I still kind of don't believe, but not that I wanted that I played so well this week. I, I, I don't believe it, uh, but the way I played, I'm really happy and uh, happy to have this trophy back home uh, in some time, uh, in some time, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, do you think that uh, this, the way you played this week, it's more about mental adjustment or maybe technical? Because the thing, in my opinion, you did very great is like you find maybe more time to hit the ball, which is something I don't understand because maybe you couldn't make it before because, you know, you like to run, you like to play long rallies. So in theory, on clay, you could do that even more, and now you made. It's true that in theory, true, but I think I was first of all not moving well enough, and my shots didn't have enough depth. Again, I don't, it's not because I'm sponsored by Lacoste Technofiber, I'm going to say this. I do think that strings helped me, the new strings that I tried this year, because they are just softer, so the ball goes easier. So straight away in Australia, actually, where I lost with my coach, we were like, wow, I have the easy depth on the ball, which is amazing. Well, in Australia, it didn't work. I was 100% doubting myself. Should I go back to the old ones? I was playing good with it. And I, I said, no, let's try more. And now it's unbelievable. And about the movement, it's either a practice or new shoes this year. Maybe I'm feeling better with them because, as you say exactly, I managed to have time, I managed to move well and hit the deep ball. So it sounds easy, but that's what the toughest part in tennis, you know, you want to play deep and you miss. And that's what happened to me the previous years. Here this week, I managed to do everything I had in my mind. I managed to uh, make it uh, real and that's how I managed to win. Uh, can we give you a new nickname, uh, uh, Clay Vedvev? Uh, <laughs> and call you like that. And uh, uh, no, I'd like to know, you know that you are the first Russian to win here. I mean, there were Sharapova, there was uh, uh, girls, Safina, but never a man. Only Chesnok was in the final, but he lost to Muster in 1990. Okay, I didn't yeah. see it. I was, uh, you were always walking. I never walked in the tunnel to see every score. So I saw a lot of finals. I didn't know Chesnokov was there and it's, uh, you know, it's great because uh, I think Kafelnikov was really strong on clay, if I remember right. I mean, I was too young to, to see him play, but he won Roland Garros one year in singles and doubles, so probably he was good. Uh, so, it's uh, yeah, it's a pleasure uh, to, to be the first one from your country uh, to manage to, to win this trophy. And uh, what a great feeling is going to be next year to go through the tunnel to warm up and uh, see your picture uh, and also the picture on the center court. The question is, uh, you are number two now in the world, uh, which means you are not going to play against uh, who will be number one before the eventual final, uh, which is a good advantage, maybe. Uh, maybe, because about? Novak is there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, Novak maybe will be number three or somewhere else. So what do you think about that? I'm trying to think. So the, the solutions I had is if I would be number three, I would definitely play one of Alcaraz or Novak play. Sorry, if you are in the semifinal, you definitely have one of them in your draw. So I guess it's better to be number two and maybe get the chance to. Carlos, for sure, we don't play if, uh, before the final. And Novak, maybe 50% chance that he's not in your draw. But at the same time, I haven't been in, uh, further than quarters in Roland Garros. So the draw is always, you know, it's always good to have a good draw but it's, it's better to just play good and try to win it because I will be honest, when I saw my draw here, I think I was in the car, was it in Madrid or was it already here in Rome? And I was uh, with my wife and maybe one other tennis player or, or a friend and I was looking at my draw and I was like, wow, that must be the toughest draw I have ever seen for me. It was Umberus Vori first round, Zapata Miralles who plays well on clay uh, next, Zverev Hurkash, 
next and then uh, it just goes uh, on and on and I managed to do it so uh, the draw is good but it's always better to just play good yourself. Then you've spoken about the, the strings, about the shoes, about like the technical adjustments but how big of a role did winning all these events in the first three months on hard courts play a role into the success now? Tough to say. Uh, for sure, every time you play a big final, it's an experience. It's an experience for the next one. For example, both Miami and here, I felt like the start was so-so. And then I managed to, you know, get into the match more and more and play better and better. And when I played my first one, it was against Rafa, I got destroyed because I started bad as I kind of started these matches and then I was playing only worse and worse. And the next one I managed to win against uh, Goffin was a tight match from both of us. First, uh, we knew that we're gonna be, it's going to be first one for us. And with experience, yeah, I managed to, to, to do better in this moment. So maybe that helped. Uh, but then in general terms, after Miami, I was feeling confident, good. When I came to practice on clay, first few days, I was hating my life. I was coming back home. I was in a bad mood. I was like, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to go through this again. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if it was exactly the case or uh, not. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I stay here.